I've been thinking about his defiance today, and you know, it was so foolish of him to lie about Pincher. It was so foolish of him to get the party gate lies out. It was madness. But in the end, it's his defiance. It is what he learned, I've described it before to you, that re- terrible, terrible child he had looking at Stanley, his father, beating his mother and lying about the adultery and all this sort of thing. And the defiance today was just as the lies about Pincher or Partygate. He is never going to give way. He is never going to give his enemies, his critics, the material to attack him. And today I think we saw the real tough Boris, who we thought we'd elected in 2019, who we thought was going to have pursue with vision uh, and with resilience and strength and energy his agenda. So I think that's going to come back at a later stage. But, but Tom, interestingly, you actually think uh, the history books uh, will view him far more favourably than is being discussed at the moment. I do, him. because in the end, he got an 80 majority. He got Brexit done with your four against it. It was a referendum result. He did very well in COVID. He had to fight really left-wing scientists who were urging him to close down the country forever and all the rest of it. He then lost his way. I think he lost his way because of COVID, the long COVID because of Carrie, because he just didn't appoint the right people, and he didn't understand how awful the civil service is. And Simon Case, the cabinet secretary, is really one of the worst appointments he could ever have made. And I think he'll rue the day, and that's why he'll come back in a few years. And I think to some extent he looked at Churchill. Well, you Churchill think come back and he would believe that he could be prime minister again? In the I think he's, of course he'd be. And, and Churchill's his hero. Well, right? of course, and Churchill was kicked out after Gallipoli, struggled back, then warned the country. Uh, same age. I mean, you know, he, he undoubtedly thinks the country will want him back at a later stage. So there could be a second act of... Oh, there'll be, many, there'll be many acts to come. He is not going to go quietly. And he's too big a beast. And he'll, the, w- Boris's greatest weakness throughout the last couple of years was, has he learned from his mistakes? And the tragedy for him is he didn't learn from his mistakes and worse, didn't have anybody like a solid wife to say, these are your mistakes. She just kept on pouring more fuel on, on, the, uh, on the flames. Do you think that relationship will last? I don't. I don't. And I, I, I just wish he'd go back to Marina. I just wish he'd find a way in which he could find a solid life. But the trouble is, as I said in this uh, in, a little earlier, he's searching for love. He, you know, he is really a, emotionally deprived. A very senior cabinet minister who resigned said that to me, that in the end, that is the secret weakness of Boris, the search for love. Tom Bauer, absolutely fascinating, Tom. 